corrupt. Everything's been corrupted. Everything's been messed with and tampered by man. I agree with what the guy's seeing here. If you go back and watch the video, I mean, he's talking about how, you know, no man should be able to discard texts because it does, he doesn't agree with it. And I totally agree that you can find truth everywhere. You can find truth in many other books. And we have been the ones that have been going into many other books and connecting them with the scriptures and connecting them with our history and connecting them with prophecies. Now, it's just funny how all of a sudden people are like, you know, man, man's doing these things. Well, which men have been doing these things? It's not just all men have been, you know, telling you what you can and can't read. All men haven't been the ones making these decisions. It's been you colonizers who have been making these decisions. It's been a so-called white man who has made all these decisions. It has not been so-called black people who have been making these decisions. But see, it's funny how all of a sudden, you know, you guys want to act like you, you know, you've been the ones at the bottom, but you've been the ones at the top. You've been the ones in positions to, you know, make all these decisions. It hasn't been us. We have not been in any positions, any of these board boardrooms, any of these backyard rooms or whatever else uh, to make any of these decisions. The people that have said 80 books have been, uh, was it, has been Catholics. 66 books have been Protestants. Has been the so-called white people. They've made all these decisions. So if you want to get upset about man hiding, you want to say man's the one that's been hiding this information. No, it's been your people. You've been the ones that have been, you know, hiding information and hiding understanding and taking away precepts and taking away more books. It's funny because he said, like, you know, well, you know, if you had the apocrypha, you couldn't teach these um, these doctrines of the church. We've been saying that for years. You see what I'm saying? So it's just funny how they're coming to this conclusion now. We've been saying that for years, that the Apocrypha destroys your um, your religions, destroys your churches. You can't teach the stuff that you teach. Second Edges 14, 44 and down, shows you at the end there's going to be other books. And it's just funny how all of a sudden these other nations are talking about the awakening and how they're part of the awakening. You can't be part of the people who have been taking away all the knowledge and understanding worldwide and then think that you're also part of the awakening. It doesn't quite work that way. So you guys want to be the ones that have been at the bottom and now the ones that need to be uh, restored at the top at the same time. You've already been at the top. You've already been destroying, you know, people worldwide. So it's funny. Go check out the video because it's pretty hilarious. Because It's like you guys want to act as if somehow you're going to be the ones that's going to be bringing the light. You have been responsible for bringing darkness worldwide. Your religions... And all of a sudden, now people want to act like they're not part of the Christian church. You're still believing in Jesus, and you're still believing in Sunday. You're still believing in Christmas. You're still believing in Easter. So, trust me, you're still a Catholic. All the other denominations are just the hardest at the end. But, like I said, it's just funny because all of a sudden now everybody wants to kind of act like, well, the man did this. Who made this mess? Who were the people that made this mess? I, I, it wasn't me. I've been at the bottom the whole time, and now I'm getting raised up. I was like, you guys have been the ones... The fact that you seem to think that you have all this knowledge and understanding when it's been your people has been the ones this whole time has been hiding information. It's kind of suspect, bro. You know, the true Israelites were going to lose their heritage. When have you other nations lost your heritage? The other Israelites are going to be cap going into captivity worldwide. When has that happened to you? So like I said, there's points that we can agree on, but you guys acting as if somehow you guys have been at the bottom when you guys have been at the top this whole time. You guys are the ones that have hidden books, hidden information, and now all of a sudden you want to act like you're the ones bringing knowledge and understanding, and it doesn't quite work that way. You had to have been put at the bottom before you can rise to the top. So when exactly have you guys been put at the bottom? Much love, family. Shalom.